Everzinc is the leading uh, global producer of specialty zinc chemicals, including zinc oxide and powders for batteries. And that's with this position that we decided in 2019 to organize RZinc, the first uh, European conference on rechargeable zinc batteries, with the aim, of course, to, to try to see what was going on in this rechargeable battery market that was very young. And so, following the success of this first event, we decided to organize a second edition that takes place today. And we are very glad to see that a major uh, part of the zinc industry is here today to promote alternative technologies to lead acid and lithium ion here in Brussels and to show that there are existing new solutions for energy storage or e-mobility applications. So I'm here to learn more about uh, zinc batteries. I found this morning very interesting and I'm convinced that there is room for different chemistries in the European uh, battery ecosystem in order to decrease our dependence on critical uh, raw materials. And I think zinc has a very important role to play in that, and that we would like to explore for the future. I think that this event was really interesting for us because we know more about the zinc technology from the battery maker perspective and from the SIM producer perspective uh, with like a whole system about the SIM technology and the recyclability of the SIM is really important to Akena Energia also and it was really interesting for us. Yeah, it's uh, my, my pleasure to be here. I mean, and the community is vibrant. It actually reminds me of uh, let's say lithium ion industry in the 90s when the research and development of scale up was just starting and it's I, I get the same feeling from from this community it's a it's a new field it's fast growing field some of the technology uh, aspects have not been worked out yet the products have a potential you know a lot of companies are at this point of concept has been proven customers are interested first prototypes made and shipped and now it's a big task in the next, um, I would say, two, five, ten years is to scale up, uh, reduce cost, uh, bring it to the market and create energy storage solutions that are, you know, green and uh, renewable and non-toxic.